Yeah, Alan Hood video week 18 and uh, 19. I uh, apologize last week I said Hobbit Hut, so we'll say that again. It's Island Hut week 18 and week 19. I said last week I would uh, show you uh, what came out of the basement, so let me just get a little closer here. Uh, with the exception of that white thing there, all this stuff come out of the basement. Uh, and it's piled up pretty deep. This is a pretty big shed in here. Um, all this uh, gear was uh, lying damp. There's boxes of books and, you know, all rotten insulation. Uh, you can see all the garbage bags here just piled up. Uh, anyway. All that had to be thrown into bags and then thrown out the window and then into the truck and driven like over here and all piled in here until we get a big bin. Uh, we'll get a dropped out front here and then just throw it all in. Those windows were uh, uh, just uh, brought out from a different area, which I'll show you here in a minute. Um, it's been a uh, pretty good uh, last two weeks. Had, uh, quite a bit of stuff uh, happening. Of course, the drywallers were here, so they sheet rock the whole house uh, got her all mudded and taped in and sanded off a couple days ago and then they're also doing the priming in the whole house so we'll take a look at that um, I've got a bunch of garbage in the truck because I've started a, a new project here which we'll take a look at in a sec um, looking at the uh, gravel pile that used to be there it's probably about three yards left of 15 uh, I'm going to get uh, one of the neighbors with a farm tractor to move that out the back uh, because I'm finished with it now. Uh, going in the side entrance, which we hardly ever do, um, what I've done here is I've, this used to be there where they had, they sold windows and kitchens and all kinds of stuff out. So there was, used to be shelves on that. You may have to go back to a previous video, but there was wood shelves. Uh, all over this wall here and then there was a pegboard so they could hang things up on that wall so you can see the discoloration there where the pegboard is, uh, was on the top. Um, this room is going to be hopefully one day uh, going to be a screened in room so I want to take all that insulation out of there take those windows out of there and, and make this a full screened in porch. Uh, which would give you a chance to sit outside and have a drink with friends uh, and not get uh, eaten alive by bugs and might even uh, put a small hot tub in here depending on you know exactly how the sizing works out when I get finished with it so anyway this is uh, I've been kind of pecking away at this the last couple of days while the house is uh, not mine anymore. <laughs> I don't. I don't have any work to do because the drywallers take took over everything. So, anyway, coming in the laundry room and then into the house, so you can see in the kitchen here. This is this is how she all looks. So, got the kitchen going on there. Dining room in the forefront, uh, front door right there, and then the uh, bay window, living room area. So you can. I hope you can see. You know how big and spacious and this is all going to be. It's, it's, with it being all white, it's hard to get any details depth-wise because there's no perception here with the white. Um, but once a, once a, you know the accessories start going in, I think you'll see it quite a bit. Um, of course, the gravel outside is uh, just about all gone. Uh, these are the holes that I cut in the floor. You can see two there. So there there were three of them total, and they were cut. Um, strategically and I'll show that to you in the basement when I get down there but uh, I was guessing maybe 75 or 80 lo uh, wheelbarrow loads uh, went in those three holes to get that gravel down in the basement. Um, you've seen the whole house so I'm not going to walk, walk through it like crazy from before but everything is primed and uh, paint, uh, the uh, drywallers will be back uh, tomorrow to sand because the walls get furry when they when they spray them, so they'll sand all the walls and the ceilings down, and then uh, they're going to put a finished coat of paint with this machine here. They'll put a finished coat of paint on all the ceilings, so that saves uh, my painter Georgette from uh, having to do all that. Plus, when you have a room this big, this is about 600 square feet. 
It's extremely difficult to roll a 600 square foot ceiling without any walls, without seeing any kind of streaks or anything like that. So that'll help her out and she can get right to doing the uh, painting. Uh, coming down into the basement, like I say, you've seen pretty much everything. The biggest change uh, with the drywall going on is probably, you know, down here. Uh, this is going to be a nice rec room. I haven't got a whole lot of use for it because the house is, is too big. Um, but I'm going to set it up for a pool table or, you know, another, another little uh, rec room for kids, you know, playroom, something like that. So coming into the uh, basement, uh, crawl space. I get down here. Okay, so you can see the difference in the floor. So all the gravel has been put in and as I showed you upstairs, I cut three holes. And if you look in here, you can see that there's uh, three spaces. Kind of hard to see the, the last one because it's so low, but you can see one, two, three uh, areas there. And uh, the idea was to drop the gravel down so you didn't have to throw it over those small little support walls that run through um, the whole middle of the house. So those are of course support for the big floor space that's upstairs. Uh, the only one I couldn't reach and then right over top of that dehumidifier right there, straight back in the far corner is actually a fourth one. Uh, but that's underneath where the laundry room is and of course the floor there is all finished. Uh, so I couldn't cut a hole in that floor so I had to drop it into the third and then shovel it over the wall uh, up into that back corner. So other than that and that's kind of where a lot of the work has been done, I think. Total hours, uh, 11 hours, to, sorry, uh, 10 hours shoveling outside to in, and then another eight hours total uh, raking and shoveling down here. So, and that is a five foot crawl space. So kind of hard on the back down here. Anyway, so that, that's about, about just over a week of work to, you know, get everything taken care of in here while the drywallers were working upstairs. So anyway, she's all done. Now the water, if it weeps up through the floor, it can move around underneath the gravel and you could still walk on the gravel. It, it, the gravel would either be damp or dry, uh, but if you needed to service anything down in the crawl space, you could do it without any problem. So anyway, that's it for uh, week 18 and 19 at the Island Hut. So, more to come. Stay tuned. Thanks.